everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about averages. First, we will start with a definition of an average. An average is a single number or value that best represents a set of data. Mathematically, it is defined as the ratio of summation of all the data to the number of units present in the list. So the formula to find an average is sum of all observations by total number of observations. So let us take a data set x is equal to a1 comma a2 comma a3 so average is nothing but a1 plus a2 plus a3 by 3 now let us learn average as an equal distribution so we have two statements in front of us the first statement says virat scored at an average of 50 runs in the last 10 matches the second statement says Virat's score in last 10 matches is equal to 45, 48, 55, 52, 46, 54, 60, 40, 70, 30 respectively. So we will analyze both statements. So according to the first statement, Virat scored at an average of 50 runs. So it does not mean that he has scored 50 runs in all the 10 matches. It says if I take 50 as a value and substitute in all the 10 matches, my total score would be same. So the total score of Virat in the last 10 matches is what? 45 plus 48 plus 55 plus 52 plus 46 plus 54 plus 60 plus 40 plus 70 plus 30 which is equal to 500. Similarly, if I take the average or if as 50 and he has played 10 matches, the total score is 500. So now 50 is a value which is equally distributed in all the 10 matches. So the total value does not change. I hope this is clear. Let us find the average of the following data sets. So X is equal to 42, 46, 49, 41 and 40. Now let me assume the average as a 45. So I have assumed the average of this data set as 45. So the data sets are 42, 46, 49. 41 and 40. So I have equally distributed 45 to all these data sets. So I have to give three more to this, to this, to this data set. So I have to remove one from this. I have to remove four from this. I have to give four to four to this. I have to give five to this. So if I give 45 to all these data sets, I will be having seven X's with me. So what I have to do? I have to remove from all these people. So 45 minus seven by five, which is equal to 45 minus 1.4, which is 43.6. Okay, let us see one more example. The average weight of 10 people is 50 kg. When one person is added to the group, the average weight increases by 1 kg. What is the weight of the new person? So let us assume the 10 persons as P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, P8, P9, and P10. According to the first statement, the average weight is 50 kg. So let me give 50 kg to all the people. So I have equally distributed 50 kg to all the people so that the total weight of the 10 people does not change. Now, the second statement says, when one person is added to the group, the average weight increases by 1 kg. So, there is a new person who is added to the group. Let me term this new person as P11. When he gets into the group, the average weight increases by 1 kg. So, for every one, there is an increase of 1 kg. What is the weight of the new person? So, weight of the new person is what? So, that is 51, which is his average. Plus, there is an increase of 1 kg to all the people. So, which is nothing but 10 into 1. So, its weight is nothing but 51 plus 10, 61 kg. I hope this is clear. Thank you so much for watching this video.